Okay, we're gonna start this video by explaining what I'm doing. You see that? All that? Somebody messed it up. So what I'm gonna do is experiment like a mad scientist, comic restoration expert I am. That's the press heating up. And I'm gonna press it. And I wanna see if it melts or if it can work. I mean, in theory, the plastic should heat up. The molecules in the plastic should heat up. I just have to find a temperature which will not melt. I just want them to heat up. And then when it's flat, it cools off. And it'll be flat again. You'll definitely see some spots left over, crumples, crinkles, but the overall outcome should be positive. Or I might burn it. It may catch on fire and burn down my entire comic book room. Let's see, shall we? Okay, so I stuffed it with the stuff just the same way I stuff all the other books with the stuff. Where I got three pieces of paper, just regular old paper, because I'm just crazy like that, and a backer board in the center. Three pieces of regular old paper on the other side. Stuffed into the center as tight as I could get it. It should build it up really nice. I've flipped it over, so I'm gonna press it from the back first. The most significant signs of damage were on the front but you can see there's definitely some bad spots so let's see what happens i'll be back in a full day i forgot that i should probably go ahead and explain this too i put this board over the top as to not burn it and then i put my teflon sheet down here i neglected to set this the press up first so i'll do that while i'm doing it and it looks like it's pretty close might need a little bit more pressure i'm going the wrong way make that handle raise up a little bit oh yeah that's good stuff it was a hard clamp woo woo baby okay so now i'll leave this in here at 120 for about 20 minutes it's 143 so at two o'clock ish i'll pull it out i'm gonna make this stop i don't use that the timer i just do it though what did i do okay I don't know what I did. Anyway, stop beeping, that's what I wanted. Okay, now, stop it at two, uh, two o'clock and let it sit until tomorrow to cool off. Okay, two o'clock, oh shit, it's 2.01, I'm, I'm late. So I'm gonna shut it off, simple as that. Now I will stare at it until tomorrow. What could possibly go wrong? We'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, so it's been a day. It is now one o'clock the next day. So it's been in there for 12 hours-ish. Almost 12 hours, okay. 11 hours, I think that's long enough. This is ice cold. I keep the air on out here it's to make everything cold. So the, the marble, marble, the marble slab, the marble slab, sucks all the heat really fast out of the comic. So all the little molecules that are all moving really fast, they freeze. Hence, flatter paper. But we'll see how it worked with plastic. Won't we? Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. Oh, I'm gonna turn my little light right here on. See if we can get some uh, 
shit. Shit's falling. Why has it got to fall, man? Why can't it just turn on and not fall? This is me over here fighting with this stuff. There, ooh, super bright. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. So you can still see where the dings were. The back wasn't as bad as the front. Look at all those scratches. That's why you won't get 9 8 on this book. Because they think those scratches make it terrible. Well, that looks better. Let's see. The front will be the real decision. The real thingamadoodle. Uh, nope. Still plenty of stuff there. It's flatter. It's definitely flatter, but those spots are not coming out. Like this right here, this is, I mean, it's got a little wave in it, but shit, what, what do you say? Let's press it again. I'm going to raise the temperature up and I'm going to press it again. And I am not adding any moisture to this process, just so you know. I'm also going to leave it face up this time. Just so you know, normally you would add moisture and that would give your paper more of a reason to stay flat. There's no moisture in plastic. So I'm going to turn up the heat. I'm going to stick it in the press again for another 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so. And flip it over just like I already did I already flipped it over we'll see if we can make it work this time okay this board goes on there so there's improvement but not drastic improvement I was hoping for more improvement the fact that it did anything at all I'm gonna clamp the shit out of it too so Let's see, I'm gonna add a, this is totally an eyeball process here, by the way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We want this to go up. There, it looks good. Now, if I put it on there straight, that'll help. Oh man, I got it so tight, tight! I can't get it on <laughs> too tight. I'll try that. Tight. Turn that sucker on. Let's set it for 135. There you go. It's gonna heat up to temperature. It's now 105. Then I'll pull it out around 130. Not pull it out, I'll shut it off around 130. And then we'll check it tomorrow. Wish me luck! Wish me luck! Good luck! Okay, second try. Let's see how it turns out. It's been uh, two days. It's been sitting in here for two days. Let's see if it made any improvement or if it's still shitty. And it's probably still shitty. Let's see what we got. Let's see, I put spine side out I believe just guessing and I'm right what do you know okay so the major damage was up here you can still see it's still there looks exactly the same let's see got a little bit flatter in that area around the X but there's still some serious ticks right there you can see on the X where that left a crease on there 
but so that little spot how that left a line there that's from the board there wasn't anything else wrong with it so that means that I pressed that line into it so now you can use your own judgment as to whether it's better or worse than when I started backside still has those little ticks where they showed up because it bent the other way. What it's doing is it stretches the plastic and there you go. But I think, I think my next step will be to use a tack iron. See if I can't, like this is flatter. It still shows the obvious line. Like you can, you can see well, you can't see because it's freaking stupid, but yeah, right there. You could see the bump in it right there. So maybe I'll try a tack iron. We'll see. Did, fail, fail, fail. Okay, so I had an idea. This is the last try on fixing this. You can see this comic has sit here for a week or so. Almost all of the bumps came back in that time. So what little bit of progress I did make on it, looks like it probably came back. So I think my problem is, if this is even possible, is that I'm treating it like it's paper and I'm not letting it get hot enough, long enough, or just hot long enough. So uh, one other thing I'm doing different, that's not my beeper on my press. I'm replacing the regular paper with, with backer board stock like harder stuff and we'll see if that does anything to help it out but uh, I'm gonna take this little bad boy over here and I'm gonna stick it in here like I normally would I put the uh, backer boards in there with the, the slick side towards the paper so nothing will mess up, you know, the paper, the pages, not paper. Um, I think everything stayed in place. I don't really care too much about this book at the end of the day. So if it messes it up, damn it, doing this one handed is kind of a pain in the ass. If it messes it up at the end of the day, I don't really care. It's like the 40th copy of this thing that I've come across now. I think I got it in there like I want it. I will. Shit, I just moved it. I know I did. I just know I did. Yeah, I did. You sucker, motherfucker. There. Okay. Clamp it down. It's still set to the same tension that it was at. That's how I roll. So that's pretty tight. I'm just gonna leave it sit in there all night long at 100 well I have it set to 120 but it went up to 135 where I had it set for that but it is Wednesday the 28th at 1 14 a.m. right now so when I wake up in the morning I'll come out here and I'll shut the press off gonna be running for a long time I don't think it's gonna catch on fire though it's not quite hot enough to spontaneously combust plastic but we'll see I have my little guy here to protect it he's gonna watch over it make sure nothing bad happens we'll see if it works if it does I might be on to something if it doesn't then it can go in the dollar bin okay Okay, we're back. I forgot to turn it off when I woke up. It's now 4 p.m. So this has been in there for, what is that? 12, 15 hours. So I'm gonna shut it off. 
and let it cool down and I'll come back out tomorrow before I go to work. So around the same time, around 4, 3.30, 4, no, I'll leave earlier than that. Anyway, I'll come out tomorrow and we'll open it up and see how it works. So I explained before the marble slabs, marble absorbs heat really fast. That's why I have marble slabs on both of my presses. Um, that way you turn the heat off and it's like it just sucks the heat down through everything really fast. Whereas steel takes time for it to dissipate. It's just how I do it. It doesn't matter if you agree with me or not. I don't really care. This is how I've been doing it for years. This is how I'm going to keep doing it. Um, so yeah, by tomorrow it'll be completely room temperature, which... I have the air conditioner on here, so it's like 70 degrees, 72 degrees, somewhere around there. I keep it cold because I don't like being hot. So there you go. We'll check it tomorrow. Okay, it's now officially the next day. It's Thursday. It is 2.44, so maybe, I don't know. I can't remember what time I shut it off, but it's been a long time. So we're gonna pop this sucker open, and we're gonna see how it worked out. Hold on, I gotta put my hand down here so I can hold it. There, okay. Moment of truth. Did we ruin an already ruined comic book even more? Did we potentially save a comic book that was beyond saving? Or did we get nothing and it looks to me as if Well, it's not nothing, but it sure ain't much. This is about what it looked like after I took it out of the press last time. Better? It's definitely smoother here. It doesn't have... Let's see if I can catch the... You see the line where it was at. But it's not nearly as, like, bumped up. It's not the back. Back turned out good. Like you can't even see. You can barely see right there. There's just a little wave in it. But you can definitely see that. So my mission is a failure. The embossing is flatter. Like it just looks like somebody drew over that with a pencil now. So all of the uh, kind of like embossingness, puffiness is gone. It's all really flat now. So I don't recommend doing that. Like all that used to feel textured. It all feels just smooth now with lines like somebody drew on it with a ballpoint pen. So there you have it folks fail by pressing plastic covers. Maybe I'll make another video of this and I'll try using the tack iron on it and I'll add it as a supplemental input or whatever. But for now, thanks for watching. If you like seeing me fail at doing things and hit the notification bell and next time I make a experimental pressing video you'll be the first in line to see it thanks guys bye bye